Hey guys, Todd with Great Escape Farms here. Today I'm going to give you an introduction and a price comparison between a deer buster deer fence and a kind of a mock setup that I did. In a future video I'll actually do a product review on the deer buster fence as well as a how-to on the fence that I installed. So that, those will be two videos coming within the next week somewhere. So you can see the fence right here behind me. What, you can't see it? Well, good. That's what I was hoping. So I'm standing right here by my front porch and you can probably see a couple black posts sticking up there, but for the most part, you can't see the fence itself until you're right up on it. So let's go ahead and let me turn the camera around and we'll take a walk up to the fence and then I'll explain a little bit about it. So while we're walking up, let me explain a little bit about this fence here. So the lower four foot section here, I actually installed for these three guys right here to keep them in as well as uh, just like having a fence around to keep our dogs in and other dogs and stuff out. The reason for the eight foot fence, the extension that goes up above here, which you should start being able to see at this point, uh, the reason for that is to keep the deer out. If you notice, I have to put fences around all my plants here and I have a nursery business and an orchard and all kinds of things. And it's really, really getting expensive trying to keep the deer out of everything. So we figured it would be cheaper just to put a fence around the whole property here, save a lot of time by not having to encase each plant in a fence. So now you should be able to see the fence here. I have had no issues with deer. Uh, the fence has actually been up for a little over a month now. I've, I've had no issue with deer coming in or even trying or uh, the only thing that I've seen that has had one issue is I spooked a bird once and a bird flew into it. So I have two different systems here. This one is the Deer Buster system. So the Deer Buster system, as I've been calling it, is uh, the kit it comes with 100 foot of the fencing material itself, comes with the post, comes with wire ties, and it comes with the screws to connect up, and it comes with a cap to go underneath to keep the little critters out, which is something I need to do add to my system over there is the caps to try to keep bees and stuff from getting into it. So it does not come with any way to hook up the high tensile. There is holes at the top and that's meant to tie a wire tie up there. But I didn't like that because it kind of drooped a little bit in the center and when the wind blew you saw it move a lot more. So I liked it having the high tensile with the hog rings up there. Also there was no hog rings on the bottom so that uh, it, it, it was just lacking in my opinion. And I'll explain a lot more of that in the product review itself. I did a cost comparison between this, which would be the Deer Buster system, and this gate right here, I'm not gonna talk too much about today, but I will do a separate product introduction, if you will, on that. So again, this is a post from the Deer Buster system. It comes up and see it has a little uh, hole at the top that I put an eye hook in and what I did is I ran a uh, high tensile wire which I had from a previous fence and a ratchet there so I made that tight and then I connected it at the top with hog rings and I'm kind of on the wrong side but uh, you can see there's a field fence right here it's connected on the other side with hog rings and then on the vertical post, I connected the fence up with wire ties right here. So my hack at this, or my do it at your, do it at home project, is basically I went to Lowe's and I purchased a, what do you call it, chain link fence post. And I drilled three holes, so you can see these two here so that's to mount it into the post itself and one at a 90 degree angle up there which allows me to run the high tensile wire right through it and when I had let me jump back for a second one when, when I had the uh, fence contractor putting in the system on all corners I had him put in a 12 foot post so these are sticking out of the ground eight foot and they're down four foot so that gives me good uh, anchoring at all of my corners. 
And the reason I did that is right now, this is a very light plastic right here. However, I, I was afraid that possibly a deer could get spooked and jump through it or ruin it. Uh, if I have issues with this, these posts right here are strong enough to hold a field fence up on top so I could basically have eight feet of wire fence here. This was actually much cheaper than going with the 12 foot poles all the way around here. This is early 2021 and there's still a run on pressure treated wood and even the, the short posts right here, the eight foot posts, were or six to eight foot. These posts right here were a lot more than they were a year ago, but the 12 foot were almost double as much just because of uh, the length of it and everything else. So this going this route right here was much cheaper and it also, in my opinion, looked a lot better from the road itself. Just having the black poles, which aren't that noticeable versus having these great big pressure treated posts sticking out of the ground. So let me go over some of the numbers here. So for the Deer Busters fence itself, I included a link to everything that I purchased there. The overall cost was $1,186.61. And that was for 356 linear feet. And that worked out to $3.33 per foot. Now, I have the deer busters from this corner all the way down to the far corner. You can see the shed down there at the end of the street. So it's just on the road facing side here. That's it. Going along both sides and the back section I had is where I did my do-it-yourself kit right there. And that was a total of... 1,341 linear feet at a cost of $2.25 per linear foot. So over a dollar, what is it, a dollar eight cheaper per linear foot. And the overall cost for that was $3,011.46. So what was it? It was about 40, about $4,200 to put up an eight foot deer fence all the way around this 4.2 acres of property here, which will give me a lot of freedom away from the deer and allow me to come in and uh, plant stuff and get a blueberry section set up, which I plan on doing this year. Hopefully it'll help keep some of the predators out. I have uh, chickens and things uh, that I'll be getting this spring. So uh, I'm hoping that this fence helps me out a lot there. As you can see from the notes section here, I will include the parts list and where I purchased everything from with links to the actual products that I used here. Uh, it, that will be posted down in the show notes. So you can just click on those and go, go to where exactly I got them from. Also notice I did not purchase high tensile wire or the ratchets. I had those from a previous fence that I installed, so I don't have any links in to those products, nor do I have the cost of those built in. One other thing I want to point out is the average cost of the chain link fence posts was $16.14 each, which is extremely high. When I first purchased them back in January of 2021, they were $10.33 each. By the time I was done, the highest cost was $22.78. So there was a has been a run on the fence post this spring. It shot up very, very quickly. And uh, there is also a cost difference between the silver fence post and the black fence post. Okay, guys, so let me go ahead and wrap up here. So the Deer Buster fence right here, I, I do not regret getting it. It is something that I would recommend for somebody that only has a smaller fence area to do or doesn't feel like going through and drilling all these holes in and uh, doing an awful lot of stuff that it took to do this here. Uh, and again, watch the video on how to do this to figure out if this is for you. This was a lot more involved than the deer buster fence itself, this uh, homemade system. However, it is much stronger 
than the deer fence, the deer buster fence the way it's set up. Again, these screws right here, if I tried hard enough, I could probably rip this right out. Now, I could put bi bigger and better screws in, but I'd have to drill holes in here. But for what it is set up to do right now, it'll work fine. Uh, again, if you're only doing a small area and you're looking for something without special tools, I would recommend this. If you were going to do a much larger area, I would recommend doing a homemade system and uh, following some of the links that I provide in the show notes and go ahead and uh, put the system together yourself. It, it would be a much better and cheaper system in the long run. So don't forget to check out the other videos, the how-to as far as putting this one together, and the product review where I'll give, go into a little more comparison on this and the homemade system as well as some of the uh, pitfalls, but uh, some of the pluses, pluses and minuses all the way around on the deer buster fence. So that's it for this video. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, following us on our Odyssey channel, and check out our webpage at greatescapefarms.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.